Hello, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Omnisend. What is Omnisend? It is one of the best email and SMS marketing platforms around for beginners as it comes with numerous features that will allow you to interact with your customers, reach new target customers, and also increase your sales and conversions. Some of the features of Omnisend are email marketing, marketing automation, SMS marketing. You will also be able to create web push notifications and you can also create pop-ups and other forms and you'll be able to also create landing pages and so on. I will be showing you how to use majority of these features. And another thing that I also love with Omnisend is it integrates with numerous platforms. As you can see with Omnisend, you'll be able to integrate with over 130 apps. So you can add your Shopify, you can also add Wix and numerous other platforms as you can see right here. Whether it is BigCommerce, WooCommerce or OpenCart, you'll be able to add Omnisend to it. So to get started, all you'll need to do is go on to Omnisend.com. Once on Omnisend.com, I want you to tap on Start for free and you can sign up for completely free. But keep in mind in the future, you may want to go on to their paid plan. And if we were to check out the Omnisend pricing, as you can see right here, as I was saying, it starts off for free. And in the future, you could go up to their standard plan, which is $16 per month. But for now, you can sign up using your email address or your Facebook account. Once you have signed up to Omnisend, you will be redirected to this page. And from here, you'll be able to add your store. All you'll need to do is tap on connect your store right here if you would like to add your store. So after you have tapped on connect your store, whether you're using the Shopify platform, Wix platform, WooCommerce, BigCommerce, or any one of these platform, all you'll have to do is simply tap on the platform. Then you're going to tap on connect store. And from there, you'll be able to connect your e-commerce store. It is as simple as that. Another thing that you can also do with Omnisend, once on the dashboard again, Let's say you would like to create a landing page. All you will need to do is go over to the top menu option, tap on forms. Once you have tapped on forms, you are going to tap on view other form types right here. Then once on this page, I want you to pay attention to the left hand menu option. You are going to scroll down a bit. So you are going to scroll down and you would select landing page. After you have selected landing page, you'll see numerous templates that you can choose from, as you can see right here. Once you have found a template that you like, let's say this template right here, all you have to do is tap on Use Template. After you have tapped on Use Template, you'll now be able to edit your landing page and add your own personal touch. And the reason why I said Omnisend is a beginner-friendly platform, as you can see, on the left hand menu option right here, you see numerous add-ons that you can do. So all you have to do is simply scroll down and let's say I would like to add something more to this landing page. Let's say I would like to add an image or a button. All you have to do is simply drag it from the left hand menu option, then add it to the landing page as you can see right here. After you have done that, you can change the button action so if you'd want to change it from submit form to link to, you could do that by simply tapping right there. You can also change the text and then you can add the page that you would like to link it to. You can also change the button style by tapping right where you see primary button. So you could change it whether you would like it to be secondary button or tertiary button. And you can scroll down, you could change the font size and there are numerous other stuff that you can customize. It is quite easy to edit a landing page or create a landing page using this platform. So let's go back. So let's say instead of a landing page, we would like to create a pop-up. 
you can do that also by simply going over to the left hand menu option again then from there we would simply tap on pop up after you have tap on pop up you will see numerous templates that you can choose from again and let's say we would like to create a template like this all we'll have to do is simply tap on use this template once on this page again you can easily edit it all you have to do is tap on the section that you would like to edit so if you would like to change the text for this section you could tap on text in the right hand column you can change it you can also change the button action and if overall you'd like to add something else all you'll have to do is go over to the left hand menu option and from there you can choose what you would like to add you can also change the layout by going up to the top left hand corner or right hand corner better yet tapping on layout then you'll see background color you would simply tap in the box so let's say i would like to change the background color to blue you can see right there that it has now changed to blue you can also change the font size if you want once you are finished you could tap on step 2 then from there you'll be able to edit step 2 then you'll be able to edit the success page as you can see right here once everything is there like in you could tap on preview to preview how it looks on mobile then you'll simply tap on enable you can also tap on team settings if you would like to change the form layout or anything overall but by tapping on behavior you could select the audience management so you could select the audience that you would like to target you can also schedule it so you could select schedule when you would like the form to appear so you could select a start or end date you can also select the display right here so you can select whether you would like the page visits or the amount of time you would like it to pass before it pop up there are numerous editing options you can choose from you can also choose which url you would like it to appear on so you could tap on targeting then tap on appears on url then you could paste in the url that you would like to target so these are some standout features of Omnisend compared to other pop-up creators. So now that you know how to create a pop-up, how to create a landing page, let's go back to the main dashboard. So let us go back to the main dashboard real quick so I could show you some more steps. As you can see, you can also create other stuff. So for example, you can use it to create a wheel of fortune. And you can also use it for email and SMS marketing as I was saying earlier. You can use it to create promotional links as you can see there. Or if you would like to create a teaser, you can also do that. As you can see right there, these templates do look very attractive and professional. All you have to do is tap on use template. So let's go back to the main page standout feature of Omnisend is the ability to easily create automations even as a complete beginner. All you have to do is tap on automations on the top left hand menu option. Then after doing that you could select browse pre-built workflows or you could connect your store and then you could set up your own workflow. For example to browse pre-built workflow if I were to tap on that whether you would like to create email for cart abandonment or you would like to simply target post purchase or special occasions you can do that as you can see that there are numerous targeting options from the left hand menu option right there and you can select the goal that you want whether you would like to cross sell or recover visitors you can do that right here some of the workflows that you can explore are order confirmation if i were to tap on that you can see right there how it looks all you'll have to do is simply connect your store and as i said at the beginning of this tutorial you'll be able to integrate numerous stores so whether you would like to integrate a shopify store a wix store or an equin store you can do that with omnisend another thing that you can also do is add your audience quite easily all you have to do is tap on audience then from there you could tap on add contacts 
after you have tapped on add contacts you can choose whether you would like to add a single contact or whether you would like to import contacts you can also import contacts for mailchimp so this means that if you already have an account on mailchimp and you were doing some email marketing before and you would like to switch over to omnisend you could do that and if in the future you would like to go onto one of their paid plans you could do that as i said earlier it starts off at 16 dollars per month and with that you'll be able to reach up to 500 contacts and you'll be able to send up to 6,000 emails per month and up to 60 sms and you'll be able to add unlimited web push but if you want even more contacts and even more ability you could go up to the pro plan which is 59 dollars per month and you will be able to reach the same amount of contacts which is 500 but you'll get unlimited emails and you will be able to get up to 3933 sms per month i hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and if after watching this tutorial you decide to use omnisend please let me know in the comment section and again thank you for watching